everyone, and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hi, Hel Adam. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. And we are here to have a conversation about the Spotlight program, The Spanish Siesta. And that is a really fun program to me. Um, before we talk about that program, I wanted to remind you that you can become a Spotlight English member by, if you're on YouTube, you can click on join below and you can learn more about becoming a member there where you can get scripts, uh, PDF scripts delivered right to you, any of our scripts in our whole library of programs. Um, you can see special videos, you can uh, get special videos from Adam and I, and other really great perks. And the other opportunity we have for you is our scripts by email, which is a subscription where you get our script and the link to the program uh, every week. Every Monday, you start out with the script. It's a great opportunity for practice. I think it's the cheapest English practice uh, curriculum that you can possibly get. And um, of course, you're learning about all sorts of things all around the world in an easy English method. And so those are two ways that you can join us. You can support us in uh, your English journey and um, us helping out, giving you resources and things like that. Um, and yeah, I think I got all of them. Yeah, uh, I think so. Make sure if you're watching this on YouTube that you click uh, like this video, subscribe. That really helps out uh, our algorithm. More people can see us. And Adam, let's get to this program. Yeah, this is a fun program. Uh, it is. We have several. I think there's other programs about sleep, if I'm not um, mistaken. But I love and them all. Work. Because this is really about sleep and work. Yes. And that's what I was going to say. I love about them is because sleep is something that I think a lot of people take for granted. Like it's something they yeah. have to do, that, but it takes away from life. Yeah. Well, okay. So if you haven't seen this script already, you can find it on our website at spotlightenglish.com. Or you can uh, watch it on YouTube, and that's a great way to follow along and also uh, learn more about this topic. Um, but basically, this script is about uh, Spain's siesta. It's a, tra a sleep tradition there. And um, people have been asking for years, um, should that tradition change? Right. A siesta is a sort of nap or a rest time in the afternoon. And uh, many, well, Spain still does the traditional siesta. Yeah. Um, but people are asking, should we take away that time? Should we go to a more typical work day? Should we change our time zone? Um, all of these questions. And so this program really goes into a lot of those, those questions. Yeah. It doesn't answer them <clears throat> because, well, it's not really up to us to solve that problem. But it's not. It but is, it's an interesting thing to think about, I think. It is an interesting thing to think about. And I think that a lot of people who um, could have listened to this program might think about some of the unique aspects of their own culture that um, yeah. that seem to be normal in their country. We'll just use country. Um, yeah. But maybe from the outside, people are like, oh, this is not normal right we called it like we called it a, a typical or a normal work day but uh for people who live in spain that's normal and yeah um so if if i if i can i'd yeah. like to start here because i think that part of this uh let's say problem or issue starts with the fact that spain has a different it's in a different time zone than right. the countries around it right which i think is first of all, a very interesting um, issue to have. Yeah. Because then, you know, you're you're in uh, the UK, say, mm -hmm. which is directly above Spain. I know that the earth is round and, and all of those right. things, but it's about above Spain. But Spain is in a different time zone so that it's an hour off. Now, what is it? It's an hour... Oh, what it what is it? It goes. It would be the other an way. hour so, uh, earlier. 
earlier. So they they're doing things later than people in their time zone. So um, one of the quotes talks about like, you know, we're going by the sun and the sun is at like one o'clock and we're actually eating lunch at three o'clock on yeah. the on the clock. Right. Um, which, first of all, must be a very interesting um, way to live, don't you think? Yeah, I think it is, um, you know, anytime there's a difference whether it's when you eat a meal or when you start working or stop working, <clears throat> excuse me, um, or even uh, I know that w you and I have had conversations about how much vacation people get, how many, what your country yeah. holidays. Some countries have a lot of, a lot more national holidays where the country shuts down uh, than say the United States, which has, I don't know, yeah. I, I don't know how many Not we have. Not very many. Not though. very many. Maybe. And even when they do shut down, it's not the whole country. Um, yeah. Well, this time zone thing, I, this is we have a program about time zones, which is actually, you know, you think time zones, this sounds like a very boring subject, but it is actually pretty interesting. And one of the things that I learned in that program is that China has one time zone. Um, ah. It's as big as the United States, which has four time zones, mm. not including Alaska and Hawaii. Yeah. Um, so the U.S. has uh, the, the lower contiguous states, has uh, four time zones, and China, which is as big, has one time zone. So I wonder if, I mean, that's a similar situation to right. me where, like, you know, some of the people in China are experiencing, like, the sun in the sky and the actual time on the clock in a very different way. Right. It's got to be similar to what people in Spain are experiencing. If you're watching this in Spain, like how does that feel to you? Does it feel yeah. normal or does it feel do you, strange? Do you feel like we have no idea what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. You're you're like this That's is not a big deal. Like we it. just we live our lives. It's fine. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Yeah, that's probably it. So, okay, so there's this there's this issue of the 1 hour off. Right. Um and then uh the workday as well has to do with that, right? right. So a typical U.S. workday, let's say, what would sure. you say? It's maybe like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Well, uh, the, the phrase is 9 to 5. Like that that's that's the, if you might hear that on a TV show, I got to work my 9 to 5, which yeah. is nine to five. what people Those mean when they're friends. like, oh, it's just a job. I show up at one point, I leave at one point, and I just work in between. Yeah. Um, but there is some flex in that 8.30, you know, starting around that time, uh, ending around that time. Um, yeah, it's a pretty set, fairly fairly rigid work day, I would say, um, with no breaks. I mean, some people take a lunch break. Some people eat mm -hmm. lunch at their, at their workstation, at their desk. Um, of course, a lot of that is changing now over the last year or so with remote work yeah with covid um but there's definitely not it, it's not encouraged to sleep at your desk or to go home and rest right um that is seen as a bad thing if you're not mm -hmm. in the office or wherever whatever whatever kind of job you have um doing that but in spain and i guess we should touch on this why the siesta became a tradition was right. because it was from a time when Spain, uh, a lot of people worked in the fields. They were agricultural. So it was very hot in the middle of the day. And so they would they would get out from the sun and they would take a, a rest and then work during cooler times of the day. And that, that made sense when the country was primarily uh, farmers and field workers. Um, but it has become part of the culture and and the question is, is it still a good thing? There's a case yeah. to be made that it's it's it continues to be a good thing. I do, yeah, I do. I was just going to say, I do think it's kind of a lovely tradition, like on its face, like right. just looking at it. Like it's um, like a tradition where your rest is built into your day. Right. Or yeah. your or your time for um Maybe if you want to meet friends for a meal or if you want to go run your errands where you have to pick up groceries or whatever. Right. Um, I, I but think of course, the grocery, kind of all the people at the grocery store, it would be shut too. 
Oh yeah, that's. I mean, I guess that's true. In the program, it does say people run errands. Maybe that means oh. like it's more like. I don't know. Yeah. Or I mean, grocery stores maybe might be different. I don't know. Although I have been to Spain, um, a few times, and it is true that like everything does shut down yeah. during siesta time. Yeah. Maybe not everything, but right. many, many things. Um, you cannot go wherever you want during right. the siesta time. Right. Well, I like the thing, and this is, I think, what you're kind of touching on, is this sense of, like, we all know we should be sleeping a little more. We all know yeah. that we can't go, 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 go all day. Mm-hmm. But you almost need everyone at your company or everyone in your city or everyone in your country, yeah. like in Spain, to say, you know what, let's do this together. Let's all value something other than yeah. work. Yeah, everybody. We need everybody Everybody's to rest on board. at the same time. And, um, you know, and when we, you know, as, as we've marched through a, a global pandemic, we know the value of everybody working together towards mm -hmm. something um, yeah. or lack thereof as the case may be. And um, so I was, re I really like this idea of, um, yeah, everyone valuing. I don't know if I lived in Spain, if there are people, or if there are people in Spain who are like, I really don't like the siesta. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be some, there's I mean, always somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do think it's a, it's a very, difficult thing for me to wrap my mind around right but I do we have programs about like how rest is good for people like we have yeah. a program about sabbaticals right right um and like how it's so important to give your mind a rest not only because you need rest like for your body physically but you also that rest is good for your mind and your thinking yeah so Liz let me ask you do you enjoy a midday nap no, I would never, ever take a nap in the middle of the day. What? If I take a nap in the middle of the day, it's because I am sick. Now, tell me, are you just not good at it? Or do you, like, principally, <laughs> you, 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 in your heart, are opposed to it? I think that it, for me, and I, sometimes, you know, when you say things uh, that are, that seem like judgments, Okay. Uh, people can take offense and say, oh, that person is talking about me because I take naps in the middle of the day. And this yeah. is not. If Liz me, offends you, please put it in the comments. <laughs> for me, I feel like if I take a nap in the middle of the day, I am wasting my time. Oh, now, interesting. I take other breaks in the middle of the day. And you don't like, feel like that's wasting. Yeah, I might. I might take a small walk outside right or um you know go down go go make my lunch mm -hmm. like and uh just take a longer time doing that right to give my mind a break but taking a nap i don't think i would do hmm. see i i am the opposite i know i was just gonna say i know you're the opposite <laughs> i am and and i know some people don't like to nap because they if they fall asleep they need to sleep for Mm. A, a long time where they wake up and they're all, uh, this is a fun English word, groggy, which means kind yeah. of you're awake, but you're, you have a hard time being awake. Yeah, you can't concentrate. Can't concentrate. And... For me, I will fall asleep and I will sleep from 10 to 15 minutes and wake up and, and feel great. Like my brain will have like flushed yeah. out all the like the like feelings and thoughts and it, I wake up feeling so much better and it's only a short little thing i don't know if that would count as a siesta i mean i don't know i mean if if you're talking like strictly naps i mean i love this example in the program actually of the program or the uh study at nasa hmm. and about how pilots were something like a hundred percent more ph physiologically yeah ready to fly a plane uh, I mean, so I, I mean, there are benefits, studied benefits to taking a nap. Right. Maybe you're doing it the right way, Adam. Well, and I bet there's a factor of how much we're sleeping overnight, too. Yeah, that's you true. You know, uh, if you're getting enough sleep, maybe a nap isn't necessary. Maybe if you're not, it is more necessary and more beneficial to, to take mm -hmm. a nap. 
Um, so I would say let us know in the comments below whether you are uh, a napper, if you like the idea of sleeping during the day, or if you're like Liz and uh, it just doesn't appeal to you, you feel like you're wasting time, um, or how you like to rest. Because, you know, it, we're, we all need breaks in our day from the things we have Yeah, what's your break like? What's your break like? How do you celebrate? How do you uh, re-energize and find, um, find that, yeah, that break in your day where you can mm -hmm. not work? Um, yeah. So... I think this is this has been a, a great conversation, and I think um, if you have not found us on social media, we're on social media wherever you want. Facebook, everywhere, in, we're Insta everywhere. Instagram, the Twitter. Um, but <laughs> we would really encourage you if you have never gone to our website, SpotlightEnglish.com, to check that out because there is a lot there. Um, if you are new to the um, Spotlight community, leave a comment, introduce yourself. Um, we are always amazed. We've been doing this for a long time, but we're mm -hmm. always amazed when people stumble upon us or how they find us and um, kind of the, the best, we, we always say this, we're going to say it again, we have the best listeners, audience, watchers, however you want to do it. And it we, continues to be true. We keep struggling to find a. Uh, I, I feel like Spotlighters is not an. Uh, we have a the best audience, audience on the whole internet. Let's just go with that. Yes. The we, best audience. I, I feel like every single person who listens to Spotlight English is the best. Right. I really do. No, I, I definitely think that's true. Um, <laughs> okay. I just want to point out, Adam, that you said no. I definitely think that's true. Oh. <laughs> That's and we do have a great blog post about that. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. So. No, yeah. Ah, uh, that very is interesting. Confusing way that English speakers uh, speak. But anyway, you were saying your goodbyes. You were yes. saying how much we love the people who listen to Spotlight English. Yes. And and we want to welcome. If this is your first time watching, we welcome you to be part of that community. Mm -hmm. Uh, so hit that little bell, hit that subscribe button, so you'll never miss out on any of our videos. And until next time, make sure you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out.